We get to experience some dedications today, and I think these are fun Sundays. As I think about my own kids, I'm grateful for the people who've over the years come around them, cared for them, encouraged them, taught them. I often mention that one of our core values here is that we are a blended family. And um, one of the things I would say is being a part of God's more prominent family means that we help and care for each other. We encourage one another. And, and just my own point of view would be this, that my kids have benefited greatly from being a part of the church. I hope this for all of our families who are dedicating children today as well, that as you invest that as you show up and you participate, you worship, and your kids do all the things that kids do at College Church, that they will, um, that they're going to hear, that they're going to experience the good news of Jesus with all kinds of people that they come into contact with. Our mission is to lead every generation into a growing relationship with Jesus, and this starts with our own. So I'm thankful for the step that you're taking today. If, if you don't mind, if you're, if you're dedicating children today, would you just stand right where you are? Matthew 19 says this. Then little children were brought to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. And Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. In presenting this child or these children today for dedication, you signify not only your faith in the Christian faith, but also your desire that your child may early know and follow the will of God, may live and die a Christian and come into everlasting blessedness. In order to attain this holy end, it will be your duty as parents to teach early the fear of the Lord, to watch over their education that they not be led astray and to direct their youthful mind to the holy scriptures and their feet to the sanctuary, to restrain them from evil associates and habits and as much as in you lies to bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Will you endeavor to do so by the help of God? If so, just say, we will. And in congregation, you may be seated. In congregation, I now ask you, will you commit yourself as the body of Christ to support and encourage these parents as they endeavor to fulfill their responsibilities to their children and to assist them by nurturing their growth towards spiritual maturity? If so, would you respond, we will. Yeah. Miss Melody, we just had hundreds of people sign up for the nursery. Make sure you get their names. You know, that's really, both, when you think about this, we have folks who invest in them in the nursery and then who invest in them in kids' ministry, invest in them when they're in middle school, invest in them in high school. Like, you are surrounded and you're doing this as a blended family. You are not alone. I'm going to ask our kids and family pastor, Pastor John Nelson, to come on up and he's going to pray for our families. Hey, it's great to join you in this way as well. So let's pray for both our families and us as we grow together and help support them. God, we come to you today and we're thankful for this opportunity as a church to surround ourselves around these three families that we may help them in this community, help them as they grow and develop, but praying specifically right now for the parents of these families that are getting ready to come up here. Lord, may you walk right beside them in this journey. Parenting is not always the easiest thing to go through, but we are so thankful that you have developed, you've nurtured these families. Would you continue walking right beside them as they help their kids to grow up to follow after you? And it's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, so I have the wonderful privilege of right now asking the Wisen family to come up with Pastor Ron. 
uh, Bo and Katie Rose are coming up with Bodie Raid Wizen and Krieger Wizen. We are going to start with Bodie Ray. All right, Bodie Ray. His name means the protector who brings light. His parents have this verse for him in John chapter one, verse five. It says, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. All right. Hey, Bodie Ray, how about a Bible? Would you like a Bible? Yeah, yeah, you tear that up. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, you got your own Bible. You know, I want to introduce, many of you know, Dr. Ron Papa Jackson. <laughs> That's right. And he's been an, a Nazarene minister for, we said we came up today, about 44 years. Many of those were here. And these are your precious grandkids. Sure. So, um, and I, I love you both. I love your family. I love you. And I'm thankful for all the ways that you continue to further the mission here. And I'm thankful for your children. So I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Ron to actually dedicate. That's your, yeah. that's your microphone? Yeah, that's a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Papa's going to pray for you, okay, Bodie? Hang on. Let's close your eyes. Let's pray. Okay. <laughs> Let's pray. Papa's going to pray. Bodie, Ray, Chastine Wisen, I dedicate you to God in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father God, we love this little boy. It just seems like yesterday we were standing in this spot when we dedicated his mama, just right here. And it's so awesome to get to see what you do with people that commit themselves to you and dedicate themselves to you. I pray for Bodhi that one day he would come to know you. He knows you now, but he'll know you as a one day. And I pray that you'd bless him. In your name we pray. Amen. Before he eats the microphone. Good job, baby. I'm going to say that was wonderful hearing those prayers. I mean, you're praying for him. He's praying for you up here. Um, so it's great. I got you, girl. I'm not sure if he's more like his papa or his dad. Yeah, that's one or the other. Hey, up next is Krieger. Uh, he was named this to point towards the goodness of God. His verse is from Psalms chapter 37. Uh, sorry, Psalms chapter 37, verse three through six. It says this, trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiant like the dawn and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Hi, Krieger. You want a Bible, Krieger? You want a Bible, Krieger? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Put it right under there. Your Look, at Look at you. Look at you. Awesome. <laughs> Let's pray. Krieger Jackson Wizen, I dedicate you to God in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, how joyful we are to get to pray for little Krieger today. And our hearts are full because we share a name together. It's pretty amazing and it's pretty awesome. Point him to you. Guide his parents as they direct their little feet to the sanctuary. And help Rosemary and Carson and Bodie and Krieger to, to enjoy and live in the great benefits of being in a parsonage, of being raised in a pastor's home. There's just nothing better. It's top shelf living. And I pray that you'd bless them and bless him. Help him to come to know you and we'll give you praise at the end of our days. In your name we pray, amen. 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 <laughs> Up next, we have Javier and Maria Riviera, Rivera bringing up their daughters, Lydia and Mirabel. It is so exciting to see both of these girls getting dedicated today. We're gonna start with Lydia. Lydia's verse is this from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 3 and 4. It says, your beauty should not overcome 
from outward adornment, such as elaborate hairstyles and the wearing of gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should be that of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is of great worth in God's sight. All right, Lydia, would you like a Bible? There you go. You're welcome. You can read that with mommy and daddy, right? Yeah. <laughs> and she's sweet. Yeah. Javier, uh, Maria, I'm so thankful for you. And I'm thankful that you've decided to make College Church your home. I see you right out here every Sunday. And, uh, and I'm thankful for your children. And I'm thankful for what this means. I do think you and John coordinated something with this. Yeah. Looks good. Uh, and, and you are courageous today in wearing that Bengals jersey. This whole. Yeah. <laughs> but we're thankful for you, and I'm excited to dedicate Lydia. Our Heavenly Father, we dedicate Lydia in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we see her as a gift from you. You have created her. You have knit her together. You know every piece and part of her. I pray that you would continue to call her name, that you would continue to seek her out. I pray that you would help these parents as they do their best to point her towards you. We commit her life to you in certain trust that she is gonna to come to know you as her personal Lord and Savior. I give you thanks for this little life and all that you are gonna do in her and through her. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. All right. Now we have Mirabel Rivera. Mirabel's verse is Luke chapter two, verse 40. It says, and the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon. Mirabelle, would you like a Bible? Yeah. yeah. Say, so my sister got one. That's right. Do you like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold that close to your heart. That is a good thing. All right. Father, I thank you for Mirabelle. And we dedicate, dedicate her today to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. She is yours. I pray for Javier, I pray for Maria as they dedicate her today. There'll be many days down the road when they'll need to be reminded that they gave these children to you and that you're gonna help them to be the parents that you've called them to be. I pray that you'd help them to know how to guide little Mirabelle to you. And God, help us as a church to come around this family and to point them to you. I do pray that we would know for certain today that there will come a day where she says yes to you, that she starts a relationship with you that lasts for eternity. I give you thanks in advance for all that you're gonna do in this little girl's life. We thank you for the gift that she is. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, appreciate all of you. Would you give them a hand? The Charles family is going to come up with Pastor Daniel. Renly Charles is being brought up by her parents, Sheldon and Gaylene Charles. Renly's verse is from Joshua chapter one, verse nine. It says this, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Well, it's a special joy for me. I present this to you and to her. Hug a Bible. Let me give you a little background real quickly here. I first encountered the Charles family when I was at ICU at Children's Mercy Hospital. Several years ago, I got a call telling me that there was one of our church uh, family teenage boys, Charles, Sheldon Charles, and um, was in serious condition. 
and was taken to a hospital here locally, and then he went to Children's Mercy Hospital. While at a track and field practice at the age of 17, he fell, stopped breathing, required CPR, and was taken then to Children's Mercy at that time. He's used this story in his ministry, which is that he is a nurse in the ICU department. It is my privilege today to dedicate their child. I thought about that, the honor that it is for me. Charles, God has protected you again and watched over you both and given you a wonderful wife, delightful child, and it's my honor today to dedicate her to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we dedicate Renly to you. Thankful, dear Lord, for her life. Thankful, dear Lord, that she will always remember the story when it's told about how you protected her dad, watched over him, brought him to yourself, dear Lord, and resurrected his life, and we're grateful. So we pray for her today. We pray for the family. We thank you for the family that's gathered here in their behalf. And we know, dear Lord, that uh, as they have trusted you in the past, they will indeed trust you for these days ahead. Let your grace and mercy be upon her, we pray in Christ's name. Amen.